hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is basically going to be a rant video like <sighs> serious rant but before i start ranting please do not subscribe to my channel secondly i'm outside so i just pray that there's not going to be so much noise in this video so um as you can see from the title of this video i'm just going to let you know what my experience has been so far as a junior athlete marketer and um, what you need to know before you get started as a junior affiliate marketer and if you're already an affiliate marketer and you've had the experience i'm going to share with you guys also talk about it in the comment section let's talk about junior affiliate marketing i've been an affiliate marketer for junior for like should i say a year yeah i think i started last year that's what i'm talking about cars been more than a year so like july last year my first video i put on this channel was like around the time i started as an affiliate marketer i've gotten lots of messages on facebook instagram my dms and all of that asking why i've not been talking about the whole affiliate stuff because people want to know more people want to join the affiliate program personally i've been having some issues with the whole stuff so let me just start my story might be scattered because i don't even know where to start i'm just pissed i'm just angry with the whole affiliate stuff one thing you need to know first of all is that as a junior affiliate marketer be sure that like 40 percent of the time you're not going to get your commission that's just the truth so why why does this commission always have one issue or the other first of all according to their terms and conditions one of the conditions is that you as an affiliate marketer you're not supposed to make a, a purchase yourself like any purchase you make by yourself is not going to reflect like it's not going to it's not supposed to reflect on your dashboard initially when i had the problem of not getting my commission i went through the terms and conditions because normally nobody really goes through all that so after i had that issue i went through the terms and conditions and i found out that okay maybe it's because i've been placing orders for people with my own um junior page so i kind of like made a video talking about it but after i made that video some junior affiliate people like i think the affiliate manager also i had a meeting i got the mail that okay i should come to their office let's talk about it let them explain what it's all about so i went there and they explained that it is not a problem for you as a marketer to make the orders for people that orders you make are going to also reflect I was like, okay, why is it that sometimes when I made this order, it does not reflect on my dashboard? So the advice was that if you don't clear your browser often, you might have issues with your commission because maybe it's going to affect the tracking of those products that you've bought when they are trying to track it back because of plenty of technical stuff. But I kind of like got the fact that, okay, I'm supposed to clear my browser, clear my cookies at least based on all the other sites i've visited so i said okay i'm going to be doing that i'm going to be clearing my browser whenever i want to make an order although this didn't sit well with me because i'm like if i have to clear my cookies that is just me and then what of people that i send the link to am i supposed to tell everybody that clear your browser clear your cookies not everybody does that right if that's the case that means there are a lot of times you send your links out to people and you're not going to get commissions right and it didn't make sense so what i said was that since this is the issue i'm going to be making most of those orders myself at least i'll be sure that whenever i want to make an order i'm going to clear my browser before i make the order do you get because of this issue let me put up another scenario for you imagine a situation where you review a product like i review stuff on my youtube channel i recently reviewed like a blonde cause wig a wig i bought from jumia wig is not something that hair is not something that a lot of people buy from jumia a lot of people buy online like that people prefer to feel the hair they are buying because there's fake everywhere so i was like okay let me take the risk and buy this hair on jumia and so that i can um so that if i like it because i don't review stuff that i don't like so if i like it i'm going to like um talk about it i'm going to do a video and then other people are going to buy it i made like a seven minutes video for this hair i also um posted a video on instagram a lot of people um, reached out to me saying they like the hair and since i've tried it because the fact that i've tried it means that they can at least trust my judgment so i placed my link on instagram a friend of mine contacted me and said she wanted to buy it i sent her my link let's just assume that nobody bought from instagram but the friend i sent um, the link to on whatsapp the person that contacted me via whatsapp she bought this hair i confirmed that she went through my link and this did not reflect several other people would have made 
um, orders for that hair and I did not see not even one naira on my dashboard I saw clicks I saw like people clicked on it people, a lot of people clicked on the links I'm going to even put a picture where she told me that she bought it and now I'm trying to avoid sending my links to people if you want to get something I try to get it for you so that I will show that I've cleared my browser and it's going to reflect so recently I had an issue the reason the main reason I'm making this video is because recently I had an issue and this particular order cost me let's just say I would have gotten like say around 4,000 naira commission and I didn't get any any commission I ordered for some clothes and shoes for somebody right and I, I made the order myself I cleared my brother right before I made this order I cleared all the things that needed to be cleared and I made this order the click um, reflected but there was no commission I also ordered for a phone um, that same day I'm going to show you guys all this is I'm talking about I'm going to show you the um, my Jumia page the phone showed and this other one did not show all the clicks showed but the clothes the commission from the clothes did not show i sent them a mail the good thing is that they get to reply mails like really fast they told me that according to their terms and conditions that i'm not supposed to make the order myself what the fuck? i replied them mail telling them that i've had a meeting with the affiliate manager and he said that whatever is in their terms and conditions has not been updated that's why it's still there but it does not affect like if you make the order yourself it does not affect your commission let's just assume that in their terms and conditions you're not supposed to make the other then why is it that the phone showed and this other one did not show so does it mean that um let's just say the link attached to clothes hair and beauty and all those things does not show or does it mean because right now i don't even know like it's really 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 annoying i've put in so much like i know a lot of people that make others on jimmy just because i've made the recommendation jimmy has been all over the place they've been advertising all over the place but these people have seen it and they refuse to they refuse to make such others but because i have like made them see that okay this makes sense some people have had bad experiences um, ordering stuff online so they've just zeroed their mind on all this stuff online and i still try to convince these people this is marketing marketers are very very important to every brand when i did the review for the week in the food i would have just said okay people can actually buy hair from jumia someone actually bought hair from jumia and it was good it has given them the impression that they can actually make an order from jumia they can actually buy hair from jumia tickets i'm sure you guys will understand the importance of the whole marketing stuff because what i do is that i don't just um, show people stuff that okay go and buy most times i get to help them find the cheapest I try to help them see the best, not just the lowest price. Sometimes people send me stuff and I go to YouTube and I find out about that particular stuff, like to know whether it's actually good. I don't just recommend stuff for people and people trust what I tell them to buy because I actually really do my research before ever recommending anything for you. So it doesn't make sense that after all this, most times I will not really see my commission. Like, what's the point? I've never had this issue with Conga at all, to be honest with you. Aside from the fact that their commissions are very low and so like extremely low, like the commission for phone is like 1%, like it doesn't really make sense. But I've never had an issue where I will make an order and it will not reflect. Like it hasn't happened to me before. So what am I experiencing it with Jumia? If I um, review a phone, I review whatever product it is and then I'm putting the link out there and your commissions are high but I'm not getting it. What's the point? It's whether I get something from whatever low commission they're offering that to not get anything from whatever high commission that Jumia is offering. They really need to work on whatever it is. Right now I'm just at that stage where I'm like, I'm not even going to stress myself when it comes to like reviewing stuff. Um, that maybe I'll buy stuff from Jumia and review it and if I find anybody that wants to buy anything from Jumia I could help the person out, I can do whatever it is but I'm not going to go out of my way to do anything when it comes to marketing for them as an affiliate marketer until things are sorted out so that's just it guys that has been challenged so far that's why you've not really seen me put out videos about Jumia affiliate marketing because I don't even know what to say again I don't even know what to tell people because 
I can't really recommend what I don't really believe in to others and I wouldn't want others to experience what I'm experiencing because it doesn't make sense to me. I review stuff that I feel is legit and then is working well. That's just it. Just know that most of the time you you most likely not get commissions and then that's just a struggle so far. I'm going to end the video here now. Hope you subscribe, share, forget my rant. I have other things I post on this channel. As you can see, like I post random stuff that could be helpful to people, how to videos, lifestyle videos, news, and all the good stuff. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.